Hey everybody and welcome to another video. Purpose of creating this video is to highlight some cool cars I found at the flea market and uh, paid retail price for it. Didn't do any negotiating so I just want to show you guys and show myself in the future what I can get at this time. Paying retail prices, no negotiating. And here's a little sneak peek of what's going to be in the video. These two cars are from the Kenner 111 Fast Series. I'd never really heard of them before until I found this group that I got the other day and looked them up a little bit more. These two here, I think I just found them like random dollar bags at uh, either a thrift store or a toy store near my house. And I thought they were pretty cool. I really liked like the, the body kit type styling on them. And once I looked them up a little bit more, you can see there's a uh, license plate on the back of each of them. So part of their claim was uh, whatever car you own, there was never another, another one made like it because each license plate on the car was uh, unique. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, so I found some of those, and I'll show you them in this video. Start digging through the bag here. Got most of these from the same uh, dealer. I'll start off here some Hot Wheels. These two are uh, ones I've been hunting for a while, made in Hong Kong. Teetotaler. It's like a really cool hot rod. I think there's a brown variation too. I gotta try and find that one. Yeah, I couldn't pass those up for a buck piece. And then for the other counter cars. Found a box of them and the guy was asking two bucks a piece. Thought that was a pretty fair price for how cool they are and I've never seen them really in other places so got a couple of them. They're a pretty sweet vet. Probably like uh, judging by the body style 79 to 82 vet. Pennsylvania, that's where I'm at. And we got this really cool looking race truck. Here's the last two I got from that guy. Found the Mustang in the dollar bin. I had to save that one. Pretty cool looking. Got some big tires on the back. Maybe like a 68 GT500. There you go, Shelby. And then this one, I'm not sure if we're supposed to be in the $2 box or not, but it's pretty cool for two bucks. I wasn't going to pass on it. Tomica, Isuzu Bonnet Bus. Pretty high level of detail. Yeah, and then one of my other goals heading out to the flea market was to leave with the red line. So the guy had a pile of them, and I pretty much just asked which ones were the cheapest, and there were some really beat up ones for five bucks a piece, but found this Corvette that was pretty clean for $10, so that's the one I decided to get. And like I said, these are retail prices. These are from guys that sell Hot Wheels. They know what they're selling. So you can find some cool stuff, but it's not like you're going to get any kind of crazy deals or steals. Not too beat up for an old red line. I think it was pretty cool to compare these two side by side to just the different styles. probably got the most bang for my buck with. I found this from a different woman. She just had a whole rack of Hot Wheels and Matchboxes for $2 a piece. Got a 57 Chevy still in the package. Wasn't as old as I expected, but still really cool. It's got the opening lid like a drag car would. It goes the opposite way. So yeah, all that for $25. Bucks. Let me know what you think, how'd I do. 
was pretty happy with all that. And uh, yeah, I'll have to show you guys in some other videos some of the other cool stuff that I found at the flea market because you can get some pretty good deals. And uh, let's just say the last time I went, I made out very well. Alright, thanks for watching.